believe that I'm the oldest member, uh, no, I'm the oldest member here, but I believe I'm the oldest member and I can see it. <laughs> Is it birthday today? Yeah. You all know why we're here. Uh, very rarely, this is my first experience with having a centurion. That's the first time I've said that word today. Centurion here at the Y. So, okay. Woo! So today we celebrate a vet's 100th birthday and this month or last month in April we celebrated the wise 160th anniversary here in the city of Fall River practically at this site. When you think of that, a vet joined this Y in the 1930s. She has been a member for half our existence which is 160 years, half our existence. And I think she'll say a lot, the reason she's still around today is because as she says, she keeps moving, and I know she likes that glass of red wine in the afternoon also. <laughs> but right now, let's bring a vet up. We're gonna bring her up here. We're gonna all sing a very boisterous after Now I do this at Rotary all the time, but I don't have a microphone, so I'm going to turn off the mic. But one, two, three, happy birthday. Are you one? Are you two? Are you three? Are you four? But we do have a couple of people who would like to say a couple of words and uh, very busy individuals, but they made a time out of their day to honor a vet on this very historic day, literally. And the first is the mayor, Major Zell. Come on up. All right, thank you. Good to see everybody. Uh, I wanted to stop by and wish a, wish a happy birthday and bring a little gift along. A vet, you want to tell everybody what? What you got from the city today? It's pretty important. Uh -huh. All right, I'll tell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the vet got the key to the city today, and it's over there on the table. So make sure you ask to see it. Oh, wow. Now she can open it. Nice. <laughs> nice. She can, uh... There it is. Now you go to the hall. There you go. The key to the city. <laughs> that key opens any door in the city. <laughs> Seriously, it's, just a, it's a pleasure to be in your presence, just in your wisdom and all the things you've seen and heard and learned over your uh, long and, and clearly very healthy life. If I was telling me that she still, yeah, she really does look great. She's telling me about she still works out three times a week, which is more than I work out. <laughs> so I got to get to the gym. She's making me feel bad. <laughs> but, uh, but absolutely, water aerobics and being a member at this great, great YMCA for so many years, I'm sure you can tell us so many great stories. And, I hope to hear some, some more of them. You started over there, and I look forward to hearing some more great stories. But what a great citizen of our community. Give her a round of applause. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. Enjoy your day. And next we got, Ray, do you want to come up next? We got uh, Ray Mitchell here, who I believe has some words from the city. Uh, 
you know, it's a pleasure and an honor for me to be here. I, I'll tell you something. Uh, the first time I ever laid eyes on a Batman CD, I can tell you, was in 1977. And I thought she was an old lady then, because she was a year older than my mom. And uh, unfortunately, my mom is no longer with us, but I'll tell you what, it's such a pleasure to be here with her. And I got to talking to her a few times, and she was telling me that she was 13 years old, I believe it was, when she joined the YMCA. Can you imagine that? 13 years old, and she joined the Y, and she used to come to dances here. And uh, I remember one time, uh, former Mayor Sam Sutter talking about the fact that, uh, I think he said he had a couple of dances with you, right, back then? <laughs> uh, I'm only kidding. But uh, I remember when we dedicated this building, the rededication, I should say, and um, uh, Yvette was here, and uh, Sam was making fun of uh, our ages, right, uh, Yvette? But of course, uh, like I said, I thought she was an old lady then, but now that I'm 60, it's not all that old. All right, I get that one. Uh, but uh, I'll tell you, you know what? She's always been a beautiful person and a wonderful person. I have never, ever heard her say a bad word about anyone. She's always gracious, and I'll tell you, it's a pleasure to know her, and I'll tell you what, it's been my honor to be able to call her a friend. And Yvette, everybody that knows you, loves you. And I just would like to, because I, like I said, I'm getting to the age where I need cheetahs to see anything. Uh, but I'd like to give you a citation from the uh, city council. And it's not, it's not in honor of you being 100, because you're, you, you'll never convince me that you're a hundred years old, although people keep telling me that. I'll make you out to a hundred. Did you hear what she just said? She said, be careful, I might make you count to a hundred. We'll be here all day. But this is an official resolution uh, from the uh, city council, and it says, be it resolved that the city council hereby extends its commendation to a that Mancini in recognition of being the oldest and longest member of the four vote YMCA. Be it further resolved that this city council extends its best wishes for continued success because we're going to meet here in a hundred years uh, to celebrate the second century. And uh, and be it resolved that this be entered into the records of the City Council. It was adopted on May 30th. It was proposed by myself. It's signed by Sean Kadeem and attested to by the City Clerk, Allison Brett. Yvette, I can't tell you how honored I am to be here with you today. And I'll tell you what, I look forward to continuing our friendship. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ray. Uh, I know we are expecting at least one more uh, public representative. Uh, they'll be here shortly. But I didn't know if there's anybody else here who would like to say anything at all to Yvette. Anybody want to come up and share a story? Everybody come up. Nobody wants your story? Family members? No. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, here we go. <laughs> you were voluntold. We love voluntold. <laughs> it's not the fact that you're a hundred. It's who you are. There are a lot of people that one in a thousand, I was told, live to a hundred, but not like you. It's the way you live. Everybody has a good word to say about you. You know how you say a good word about everyone? Everyone has a good word to say about you. And I have been blessed to be your friend and to be on several committees with you. And you always, she knows everyone's name. <laughs> I have, let's go, what's their name? 
She knows that you are really one shot lady. <laughs> Oh, did he? He can. Yvette's right up there with, you know, there's like Cher, Madonna, Yvette. Right? <laughs> this is Yvette's son. Hello. I'm the oldest of two boys. Uh, and thanks again, Mom, for uh, raising us. And Mom's been a great lady all these years. Excellent. And, and as you can see, she's always out there dynamic and getting involved, so, so that's great. And over the years, she's acquired a lot of ali aliases. You know, they've called her daughter, they call her wife, they call her mom, mom cousin, auntie, you know, friend, and some other aliases, well, we don't want to mention in next <laughs> company. But, uh, you know, it's great, Mom, thank you. I appreciate being your son. You've always been a great mom to us, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. One of the first things we got is this store-bought card. You can pick this up at any Hallmark store if you can find a Hallmark anymore. But if you haven't had a chance to sign this, please sign it. Dave, stop taking pictures. Okay. okay. If you haven't read it. If you haven't read that, that'll be enjoyable reading when you go home tonight. It is so wonderful to see all my friends here. You know you're all my friends. Uh, some of you I may not know because you're at the 9 o'clock class, but as long as you're part of the Y, you're a friend of mine because to me, I'll tell you something. I left Fall River, I was gone for 27 years. When I came back, I came back in 2002, October of 2002. The second week I was here, first week I had to get settled. The second week I was back here, and I've been here ever since, three times a week, and I just, I, I love the atmosphere, um, of course, I'm going to tell you a story. Um, when I was when I was young, and 35, 1935, I was this was strictly a men's wine. But on Wednesdays was Ladies' Day, so I was coming. That's when I came, and, and I, I came for about seven years until I guess I was present for my second son. I have two sons. I still came while I had someone to babysit Richard. But um, anyway, uh, I, I did come for seven years then. But the funniest thing is that this was not a while like we have today. It was, it was, well, it was old. And <laughs> we had, to take shot, uh, well, first of all, uh, the men, uh, when they went in the pool, did not wear a bathing suit because all the bathing suits were made out of wool in those days. And you couldn't use wool because it would spoil the filter in the pool. So uh, when we got there, we had a male lifeguard. So, there were no, you couldn't buy a wool bathing suit in those days, so we had to make our own, because actually we need. But then we didn't have what we have today, individual dress, individual showers, no. We showered in one room with all the showers going. We had no individual dressing room. We dressed out in the open because it was a men's ward, uh, 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 why, and that's the way they lived. Uh, we enjoy it just the same. And, uh, <laughs> why not? I enjoy everything. Uh, I, you know, I could keep on talking and talking, but 
I have something I want to read to you. I wonder if you people have ever heard the senior alphabet. No. No? I'm going to sing it to you. I'm going to I'll say it to you. A is for arthritis. <laughs> B is for bad backs. C for chest pains, perhaps cardiac. D is for dental replacements and decline. <laughs> I is for eyesight. Can't read that top volume anymore. F is for fissures and fluid retention. G is for gas, which I'd rather not mention. H for high blood pressure. I'd rather have low. I for incisions with scars you can show. J is for joints that now fail to flex. I for libido. What happened to sex? <laughs> I got another page. <laughs> now M is for memory, and it ain't worth a cent. <laughs> M for neurosis, pinched nerves, and stiff neck. O is for osteo, and all bones that crack. For prescriptions, I have quite a few. Give me more pills, I'll be good as new. <laughs> Q is for poisonous wine on the flu. R is for reflux, one meal becomes two. <laughs> S is for sleepless nights. Counting my fears. T for tinnitus. I hear bells in my ears. U is for urinary difficulties with flow. V is for vertigo. That's dizzy, you know. W is for worry. Now what's going wrong? X is for x ray and what might be found. Why, for another year, I've left behind. Z is for zest, and that I still have my mind. Yeah. I thought you'd enjoy that, but I want to thank you all so much. And don't forget, come and sign this because I'm going to have a lot of souvenirs and again, including the key to the city, which I'm keeping right here in my pocket. <laughs> I don't know when it'll open. Maybe there's a bank vault somewhere <laughs> in the city hall that I don't know. But anyway, I also keep it for souvenir. Thank you. Thank you so much. I could talk forever, but I, I know. I know. I, 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 Frank wants to take the mic. Right now. Thank you. Thank you.